Number five, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, Dawn of the Dreadfuls. Number four, Lost. Number three, PlayStation Move. Number two, Nintendo 3DS. Number one, Captain America Movie. Welcome to the Techland Show. I'm your co ho, co co, co co, co ho, Peter Ha. Um, I do all my hoeing by myself. Um, I'm Evan Narcissus, a uh, resident video game nerd. And I'm Ali Townsend. You're the intern. Yeah. yeah. Intern. Well, what are you re- What are you reading there? Uh, this is the newest Pride and Prejudice and Zombies book. Uh, it's a prequel called Dawn of the Dreadfuls. Just released yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. There's How awesome is it? It's pretty good. Uh, you know, there there are a lot of differences between between the uh, the first and the second. I think this is this is an original idea. It's not a mashup of Jane Austen's text. So oh, really? yeah, so it's it, you know it's it's a little different, but uh, it's by the same author, uh, Steve Hawkinsmith, who wrote uh, Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we have this, and then um, Android Karenina comes out this summer. So lost. Lost. It was actually really good last night. I liked it a lot. It, it was the first episode where I was just like, "Oh, it's over." Stuck. Yeah. Well, that backstory was like. Uh, at first, I was kind of like, "This is really stupid," but then it's brilliant. Yeah, it's it is really brilliant. brilliant. Uh, and also, it was just—I feel like it—it it just needed to be told so badly. Like yeah. everybody was just wondering what was mm. going on with Richard. Right. That I'm really Ricardo. glad. Ricardo. Ricardo. I'm really glad that they finally, finally revealed it. Yeah. So, they are or they are not in hell? Is or everyone not? dead? I don't know. You know, that's did, what did I don't the understand. plane crash? You know, did, did everyone die? Right. I don't know. I'm cur- sort of confused. But you know what? Last night's episode is exactly why I love to hate that show. Yeah. Because it sort of drags on, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, F you guys. I actually like the show now. There was a big turnout here in New York for PlayStation Move because they had it open to the public. And um, I think it'd be interesting to see what people, how people react to it as they start bringing it around to different places. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think it's promising. It's definitely too early and too buggy yet um, for, for me to kind of render a final verdict. But, you know, if they work out some of the kinks, it, it could be a decent uh, kind of contender. Yeah. Um, I forget, is it coming out? It's coming out this year, right? Yeah, this fall. This yeah. fall. And did you play that fighting game? No, they didn't have motion fighters here, unfortunately. Oh, that's weak sauce. Yeah, I know. I was very annoyed. That was the one thing I wanted to see most after GDC in San Francisco. Yeah. But they did have their, their kind of party <coughs> game, move party. It's kind of wacky, silly party games where you got to, like, squash bugs on the, screen, on the screen. But it was a lot more fun than I was anticipating. Speaking of video games, uh, I got this big behemoth of a thing in the mail the other day. It's uh, 93% larger than the DS. Uh, but this is sort of old news because they announced a 3DS this week as well. Yeah, that was weird. I feel like they were stealing their own thunder with that. Yeah, they're like, oh, here, here's another product that uh, you don't want to buy because you should wait for the right, next one. Right, exactly, yeah. So the 3DS is, uh, it's going to be the successor to the, the DS. In You'll 3D? be able to play in 3D without glasses, which yeah. is pretty interesting. Um, I think what I read earlier today was that it's going to have an accelerometer and have all this fancy next gen right. stuff in it. They're like camera recognition of certain moves and gestures. Yeah. Um, they said something about it being a joystick of some sort. I don't really know what that meant. Early on, it was John Krasinski from The Office was being talked up for the role. He would have been terrible, by the way. Yeah, yeah he would have been terrible, right? too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, Chris Evans from uh, Fantastic Four is Captain America. And there was a little bit of fanboy outrage because he's already been the Human Torch right. in the Fantastic Four movies. Um, and the Fantastic Four and Captain America eventually team up. Oh uh, yeah, well, they, everybody teams yeah. up in the Marvel Universe. Right. So, well, I think that's going to do it for this week's Techland show. Um, uh, on a side note... We will be uh, we'll be in Boston this weekend for PAX East. So if you want to uh, swing by and say hi, um, you can call Allie and leave a message, and then she'll relay it to me. Her number is two one two five two.